Hello, everybody. Uh, it is Thursday. Thursday. It's really a Thursday, and it's the Karen and Susan show. For sure today. On a real Thursday. <laughs> exactly. I know you're not aware of this, but the gardeners used to always come on Thursdays. They must have switched days. Oh. We, we in here could hear them blowing out there. I don't know if everybody else could. Uh, forgot my glasses, so bear with me on my... Good morning, Sharon. Lack of vision. There we go. All right. Um, this is happy because I I'm it for the week. I'm d I'm done. That, <laughs> they're gonna take that wrong. I like working with you. <laughs> I just thought I'd do that just oh, to make her freak out. No. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Danielle is back in the boutique tomorrow. I know she made it home safe because I texted her last night. So yay. Yay. I don't have any stories. Do you have any stories? Uh, we played Lotteria last night, and I think only one person in our group won. Oh. That was, yeah. Okay. But I just want you guys to know, Susan will be happy because I went to bed at a decent hour for oh, me. Oh, yay. So I won't be yawning <laughs> all day. I'm pretty sure she wanted to kill me yesterday. I honestly only noticed a couple of them, and I'm sure I had some, too. Oh, uh, yeah. It was. I was. I was hurting. Let's just <laughs> Sleep is good. <laughs> Anybody else do anything fun last night? Happy Thursday. Yeah, if we got no stories, I guess we'll jump right in. All right. We'll do our... Oh, our... And I did not knit, obviously, so... Slacker. Yeah, I know. Maybe tonight, although we're going to trivia, but... And it's kind of dark, again, dark in there. You take your little light. I know, I need to take the light. And... I did knit last night. I made progress on the secret project, so yay. Oh, yay. Okay. Yeah. All right, so this is our Whispery Hat <laughs> kit in the Copen Blue colorway. Kit comes with a little leather tag. It's right there. So cute. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, except for the glare. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Better. Yeah. <clears throat> Here, I got rid of the glare. Yeah, <laughs> that worked. <laughs> By the way, we were laughing this morning, too, so. Yes. Yeah, I did a little dance for her and she everything. She did. <laughs> we always start out laughing. Yep. This is our flavor family of caramels, and did you try that black lava sea salt? Delicious, Isn't it you so guys. good? Oh, my God. I haven't tried the rest of them, but I have tried that one. It is so good. We've got our little crossbody bag and this beautiful pink. Rose pink, gold, rose gold. Yeah, rose gold. There you go. Yeah. And it's shiny, too. Yep. Yep. I can't Lots say, of pockets. I can't say how much I love. I can't uh, stress how much I love the pockets in that. Because it's pretty yeah, awesome. You can yeah. divide stuff up. Yeah. Again, like I said, I bring it to Disneyland with when I go. They're great. We've got the little notepad, which is unlined inside with the kitty cat inside. We've got our class supply tin, tapestry needle, tape measure. So true, Darla. She said laughing is a great way to start. <laughs> it is. Folding scissors with half Ooh. set of two sizes of our snag-free rainbow markers, some rainbow safety pins that are trying to escape. There we go. And some folding scissors that are FAA compliant. Love it. Oh, at this angle I can get even the case it comes in, which is nice. Yeah. I can't always. <laughs> We've got our magnetic multi-strand bracelet. So cute. I wore one yesterday. I just, I love how There's, sparkly that is. I know. It's so cute. If you guys don't know, I love sparkles. We've got cake sprinkle stitch stoppers and our leopard print magnification 2.5. 2.5. 2.5, I think. Or 2.5, you're right. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. And then we've got three patterns that you can do with the kit. We've got the hat pattern itself. Comes in three sizes. We've got the anteater cowl. And the Autobahn fingerless gloves with a nice long cuff. Cute. So cute. A little bit of a quick run through on those today because we do it every day. And... The way you can get entered is by making a purchase in the store, online, uh, over the phone, however you want to do it. And it is cumulative. So if you do 10 different orders throughout the month, then you get all 10 entries. 
and uh, we will draw on the second, which is Tuesday. Tuesday. That's this next Tuesday, isn't yep. it? Can you believe it? Where did the month go? I know. Did it go fast for everybody else? It's kind of crazy. <clears throat> I literally said that to someone yesterday. I said, I thought retiring was going to slow it down a little bit. As you no. all know, I've been crazier being retired than... <laughs> Maybe it'll maybe it'll slow down for you next week. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. All right, we'll move on to our daily prize. We haven't given this item away for a while. This is uh, actually Anna designed this one. It is Tablon. Really fun little slip stitch pattern. Yeah, eight rows, and uh, six of them are the same. So pretty easy. We've got one skein of Malabrigo. Oh, it is their Malabrigo. single ply. This is one of the first yarns Daniel ever brought in in store one. Were you around for that? Yes. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. We don't carry this one right now, but it's still Malabrigo, so Which we know is it's even nice. Better because it's more special that you're getting some right, that right. isn't around. Yeah. Which I always love. So there's that one. And how you get entered in the daily prize. Hold still, computer. It's all about interaction with us. You get an entry for each little emoji. And you get entries for comments. Comments, share into your story. Yep. And then when you come back and tell us, you get another. So you get 10 for sharing and one for coming back and telling us that you shared it. Good morning, peeps. There's a lot of peeps on today. The names are scrolling by so fast. <laughs> yeah, you can't always see them. And we'll share there. Come back and say shared to my stories. They feel like they changed the name, but that's okay. We just know we need to put shared to. That is what pulls up the extra entries. So you get 10 entries for sharing, one for the comment. So that is 11. Look at me, I actually remember I this time. I remember this time. <laughs> <laughs> so we will do the drawing of, of yesterday's video and see who. Oh, Char Peters, congratulations. That is Charlotte. Yay. So this is your gorgeous yarn that you won. This would be good for you, Charlotte. You could, you could learn to do this one. Um, so if you are local, you come in and let us know that we have some yarn for you. If you are not and you're placing an order, let us know in the comments that we need to include your gift or prize. Prize in your pretty pink package. Yep. <clears throat> Makes one less package for the delivery people. And I know our regular guy appreciates that because sometimes we really load him up with um, <laughs> packages. There was quite a few yesterday. <laughs> They've had to come back with the truck a little Yeah, we're, truck. we're like, uh, you might want to come back. He's like, okay. <laughs> Although he's got he's got a Mary Poppins bag. You ever see how much yeah. they can stuff in those bags? Yeah. Thank you for the shares. Lots of congratulations. You guys are so nice. All right, we are going to jump right in with our yarn today. Look at me, I'm still finding patterns. I didn't get that many ready yet. Yeah, I'm going to talk about the, oh. No, we'll do okay. it. Okay. So this is so pretty. I'm in love with this love yarn. Love it. This is Nimbus Stripes, which is a bulky weight version of Cumulus. And it is, let's see, 96 Mako cotton and 4 nylon. I don't remember if it's Mako or Mako. I think it's Mako because we were saying it wrong. Mako, I don't know. Um, it is 164 yards of bulky weight yarn. And these two, believe it or not, are the same colorway. So the first time I purchased something was years ago when we had, um, we were doing a shawl and it was definitely this way. And it was so weird to me that on the inside, it was the color that's on the outside of the other one. Right. They're just, it's just how they end up as they wind them because they stop when they get the appropriate yardage. But I love it. It's, it's kind of like, Oh, a mystery. Well, it's kind of, like I'm using that. It is a mystery <laughs> yep. because you know, if you don't look all the way inside, um, you don't know quite what you're going to find. Yeah. Those lights see the inside of this one is close to the outside of that one. Yeah. 
So they all have a cream base, and it is gonna. We're gonna start on the inside of this one. It's a really nice golden yellow. It is very very sunshiny. Uh, fades into this orange over here, and this one's definitely sunset. It's got some of that uh, sunset red or sunrise red. This is a sunrise sunset. Either one. Either <laughs> one. Yeah. Yeah, and this red fades out. I love how they dye this yarn. It fades out into this burgundy. That is so pretty. I want to know how they do it. I think it's sprayed on. I really don't know. It, it is fascinating how each dyer does their... It thing. is, yeah. And see, here's the burgundy on the inside of this one. Yeah. So, cool. so this is color 704, and they called it Antelope Valley. Oh, I like that. I love the names they come up with stuff. I want to know where Antelope Valley is. Can I go there? I'm sure. <laughs> I just looked up and saw I love this little thing in the jigger here. Let me open that one. Oh, do I need to do I no. link it now or Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay. I forgot. Let us pull up some links for you guys. Oh, I keep putting the wrong name in. Oh, but it worked. It's Nimbus Stripes. I keep calling it something else. And I think forever it's going to be in my head that way. So I'm just going to say Nimbus Paint Stripes. See? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Painted Stripes. <laughs> Painted Stripes. Yes, let's go with that. Yep. I think if someone calls it what I, I do, you'll I'll know what it is. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. I will now also. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my bad. Stay. Oh. MG. Yeah. Look at that one. Uh, where are you color? This is 705. They call it Morning Glory. I called it Violet Fields, but I think Morning Glory is I don't know. I pretty like spot your, on. I like your name too, though. It works. I mean, I looked at it. I'm like, oh, that's Violet Fields. Carla says it's in uh, Southern California. Antelope Valley. Oh, I want to go. Yeah. That. Ugh. Love the purple. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. So we've got kind of this gray blue color in here. And it kind of fades out to this really soft lilac into the dark green. And that swirls around and fades into this really beautiful dark purple. This is purple people in a skein. Because purple uh, and green, yes. right? Yep. Let's see, we have a little more room over okay let's see how many will stay <laughs> although Susan scared them so they may stay <laughs> I, I did I looked at them and said hey <laughs> okay this is a cute sweater all right we're gonna transition okie dokie Ooh, cozy pretty. cable raglan Oh, there is a cable. It's really hard to see. There's a little tiny one right there and right there and right there. It is Excuse really me. hard to see. It is. And if you don't want to do the cable, you don't have to. Oh, there it is. Look, oh. it goes all the way down. Okay, now I really like it. You can see it in this one. That is pretty. Uh, oh, there's one on the back side, too. So it follows the raglan line on both sides. That's so cute. Nice. I want... Oh, yeah, it shows up so much better in that purple. See what else they got. It does, and it's just to let you guys know, it looks the same on the camera as it does on the computer. So you're not, if you can't see it, we couldn't either. <laughs> yeah, that one shows. Not as well as the purple. No, one. that purple one. Well, it's because purple rocks. Yep. You know, we'll go back and look at the purple one. Look at that. That's so cute. This one, oh, a thirty to a seventy. That is some nice. awesome sizing. Look, this gal made it into a tunic. Oh, wow. Very cute. So cute. Oh, it's got darts built into it as well, judging by their tags. Ooh, buy three and get the fourth one free. You have to do that one yourself. We cannot do that deal in store. 30 to a 70. That's awesome. So that's finished bust measurement in inches. Oh, 5 to 10 inches of positive Ease five oh sorry five to ten percent so that is a pretty snug fit 
Find the closest value in the list. If you're between, size down if you prefer a snugger fit, or go up if you want a looser fit. I go a little bit on the looser side myself. Mm -hmm. Really cute. Let's see what else I found. 1988. Nice little drop stitch shoulder. That's a super simple knit. You could do that on the machine. Some good TV knitting there. Look, this one, she put stripes in hers, but with this yarn, you wouldn't have to do anything at all. It would just do it for you. Let's see. Oh, I love these kind of patterns. That would be so fun in this yarn. That is really, that is so pretty and looks so cozy. Yeah, just a nice little <clears throat> shoulder cozy. Because, you know, I'm wearing a shawl as a bandana cowl and my back is a little cold, actually. Yeah, it has been freezing here. <laughs> it has. I didn't turn the heater on this morning, Ugh. probably because I had long sleeves on. Yeah. So funny, my arms are hot, my back is cold. <laughs> I guess I'm a little confused. <clears throat> All right, this is 706 Bondi Beach, which I called mountains. It's kind of mountains, rivers, wheat field. All in, of the above. Yeah, inside we've got this really nice blue here, kind of a blue-green river. It's got some pine tree green right here. And then it goes into this lovely wheat field color. And I'm calling that a riverbank. Oh, I like it. It's like a, a wet sand riverbank yep. side there. All those colors are hiding in there. Like this one. I just, I had to grab two because they look so different. You really wouldn't know, except for that little spot that that yellow is in there. Yeah. But Until you dig it out. It's from hiding inside. <laughs> yeah. They just look so different. Well, especially when you're putting them away and you're making sure that you're getting the color numbers together and you're looking yeah. at them going, wait, is that the right number? I double, I have to check it twice sometimes. Yeah. I pulled <laughs> one of each and I'm like, wait. Yeah. Then I had to try and match them up. Yeah. It's like, what did I do to myself? I know. <laughs> this one is just spring, springy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want to go boing, boing, boing. Yep. <laughs> it's like a spring digger. <laughs> I love, yeah, because it's got a little bit of that. Yeah, golden. so this one starts, I'm going to call it apricot, into this lovely lime green. And it fades into this kind of medium lilac purple. It's like a lilac bush, totally. Mm -hmm. And it's going to fade out to this beautiful teal. I'm like, where does the fade start right here? Isn't that fun? Oh, I love it. I don't know how they do wow. this. Wow. But those those cream sections are just going to make stripes between all of your colors. God, these are gorgeous colors. All right, come on. I want you to show. There we go. So pretty. That's a good idea. She's making a pyramid over here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. You can see all the colors. This one is just fun. That's fun. That's just kind of a mix of everything. I like that. Oh, geez. 703 Candy Floss. Oh, my goodness. That's like all the flavors of, or colors yep. of cotton candy. Yep. That's funny. So it's got this really nice blue violet in here. Come here, you. Right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Goes out into this kind of a, a light burnt orange color. Fades out to this teal and a bubblegum Kind of bubblegum flamingo. It's actually got a hint of. I wanted to call it purple, but it's not really. Uh, yeah, it kind of goes a purple, a purpley teal, blue. Yeah, and I think next to the pink, it brings like it definitely changes that color on yeah. it. Yeah, that is so pretty. So you'll have to read the comments because Darla looked up something, and I missed it. Tigger, yes. Uh, Bondi Beach and the picture that came up had all those colors. Perfect <gasps> match. So cool. Which one? Is that that one? Or the... This one. Oh, that is so neat. Bondi Beach. I feel like Coastal Cotton has a Bondi Beach as well for Where? a color name. Oh, really? Yeah. Where is Bondi Beach? Stay. 
Yeah, Jackie loved um, Juniper Moon. It's pretty awesome. Helen, not so much. What did I miss? Oh, Deb, you're on spring break. That's awesome. She gets to watch live. Love Morning Glory. Oh, I love... So oh, Lancaster, there's a poppy preserve there? Yes, there is. Hey, Darla, we need a field trip with you. <laughs> Australia, she thinks. Okay, I'd go there. Somebody has to take their private knitting instructor with them, and I volunteer to be that, that person. Hey, that's a good deal. I know. I'm like, I'm small. I don't take up much room. Exactly. Oh, this sweater is awesome. All right, we're coming up to sweaters. Hold on, guys. This is Alfama, which Anna did in a brown kind of color that matches this yarn. She must have done it out of this yarn, but it's a really cute little... It's more than a shrug and less than a sweater. I like it, though. But it does Just have a that cute shrug. little one, yeah. I love that. And you could put, like, the fashion Embrace Fashion Fastener clasp on it. That was a mouthful. We have one left. Oh, yeah. Grab it right over there. I'll show them. Okay. Sorry, guys. No, no, it's a balancing act. <laughs> Trying to balance and not make but it dizzy. You could totally hold it closed with one of these. Yeah. Really awesome. Let's find a few pictures. Yep, yeah, it's in Australia. Okay. Road trip. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit of a road trip. Let's see. Okay, so this person did it out of Nimbus, so you can see how it's going to stripe for you here. That looks like Bondi Beach right there. That is so pretty. Gives you an idea how it works up. Take that back out. Did so, it go pretty quick, Jackie? She said she made that. Oh, nice. Awesome. So what I did here is if you can search in the projects, and I put the word Nimbus in there and hit enter, and it pulled up the one that was done with that. Oh, look, this one put long sleeves on it with some lace work in there. And you might get stuck on Sleeve Island, I'm just saying. I know it, right? <laughs> yeah, most of them have short sleeves. Really fun little pattern. That would be a quick knit. For that, for that kind of pattern, I would do short sleeves for sure. Because I feel like yeah. it's kind of that um, keep you a little warm when you need it, but not right. heavy like a big, thick sweater. So. Good movie theater yes. sweater. Because, you know, they freeze you in those things. Super cold in the shopping mall or the restaurant. Jackie said yes, it was quick. Good. And those of you in an office, that would be really good for you. Speaking of office, my ex-crewmates went back in today. <laughs> Do they have to stay in? For so they're back in today for uh, like a collab with another unit. And then starting in a couple months, I think, they go back every Wednesday. Yeah. So this is one they use, what I was calling Violet Fields, I believe. Uh, Morning Glory 705. So you can see how it works up. Uh, is it? And I'm sorry, Ian. What? Is that Emily? Emma? Oh, Eileen. Uh, Eileen. Sorry. Okay, she wants to see the purple again. Are you coming over? So pretty. What's in there? More of the purple. So pretty. So that is 7:05 Morning Glory. And this is what that cowl pattern actually looks like. A little bit of easy lace, a little bit of garter stitch. You could do stocking it in that section if you like that look better. Pretty, pretty. Oh, this is a good sweater. Ursa. That'd be really pretty in um, this yarn. because It's got this nice detail of the lace, or not lace, but some ribbing right there. I think it would look pretty in this yarn. Yeah. Oh, look at the detail in the back. That one's fun. It goes all the way up. That's I feel really like uh, the solid color is boring now after looking at all of this. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like she's got a wide range of sizes. Little uh, what 34 was the to 64. Number illustrating side. Oh, it's moving. Can you read the comment that she put when you're done? Pattern number illustrating 
side. Oh, uh, one of the sweaters we looked at. So if you guys go to pattern patterns, scroll a little bit, you can go to your history page right here. And that will show you everything you have looked at. What I'm thinking, are you talking about this one? That, this one? The Cozy Cable Raglan? I got a thumbs up. Okay, I that one? Maybe, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know it's hard because the I don't see the comments as quick as the computer so and Susan's right, looking so at the pattern so if that's the sweater there's the link for it purple yes okay that infinity on the screen drives me a little makes my eyes go crazy yes yeah so that one's a 30 through 70. what else did i find oh this one's <gasps> done out of the morning glory as well oh, so, so pretty that's how it's going to work up for you Really fun. Yeah, I would shorten the sleeves and length in the body too. <clears throat> and this one looks like this. Nice cozy oh, oversized sweater. Love it. Short sleeves and a fireplace. Hey, that way you don't have to worry about doing long <laughs> sleeves. You got the fireplace to keep you right. warm. Well, I've never seen her back tattoo. Crazy. Oh goodness. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah. Yes, that was a purple yarn we just showed. Yeah. We'll go back a few here. So I just searched under one color because this yarn's got enough going on. You don't need necessarily another color with it. I uh, did knitting or crochet. I did in store so we could get it for you. And then bulky weight. So these are all ones you could do. Oh, that one's cute. Let's see. I'm with you. I don't feel like you need to add anything to this. No. The colors are so pretty. And we don't have solids in this particular yarn, so tricky to figure out what to put with it. So I would just use it by itself. This looks like just your basic raglan sweater. This one's a, whatever they use is a little bit fuzzy. Oh, the fuzzy makes me sneeze sometimes. <laughs> okay, no fuzzy for you. I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. It, it I mean, look, you can do a cute hat. That would be so cute. But the, like, I don't know which one it opened. There it is. I don't. Oh, it's got cables in it. I don't think you'd see the cables very well in this I don't particular think so yarn. Either. Because you can see how well it shows up in the solid versus the first picture we looked at. I feel like you could do just a plain hat, not a bunch of. Yeah. For that. Yarn. Oh, is that what the Glacier Breeze? Is that out of this yarn? It's like the second one on the right. Why do I always no? no? Oh, wow, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> it did say blanket cardigan. <laughs> that's a lot. It's one of those waterfall fronts. Oof, I feel like that would just knock me over. Yeah, that's a lot of bobbles. That sure is. I have a friend that wanted to learn how to do bubbles. That would be the one. That would be the one for sure. <laughs> yeah, I think you just need a simple silhouette. Yeah, I feel like with this yarn, you don't need to put a lot. Mm -mm. I mean, I like the way she did that cable down the side of that first that one. That first, yeah, that was gorgeous. Yeah. So I have saved one more color for last because... Uh oh. It's so pretty. <laughs> Hold still. So, so far, those are our colors. Oh, Bam. look at that. So pretty. Easter basket in a skein. This is 701 Rainbow Mountain. Oh, I like that name. Nothing at all like the Rainbow Mountain from Art Yarns. That's kind of that. Uh, it's a landmark. It's Utah-ish oh. looking. Oh. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Like this 
Well, they have the can, the slot can. It's like a red, there. red, red oh, rock. Oh, red rock. Yeah, that okay. kind of, yeah. So this is definitely an Easter basket. It's got this yellow in here. Just kind of a little bit of blue fades, you know, turns to green. Just because they mix that way. It's got this really nice kind of a sunshine yellow marigold in it. Uh, it goes into a spring green. More of this flamingo bubblegum pink. And into this really fun blue purple. I know, I could, love that blue purple. could almost turn so, red right there, but it's not. It's more yeah. pink. They're just, they, they are all so different, and they yet are. they're all the same thing. And it just depends where they stopped rolling up the skein. I would hate to roll those and be like, what color am I on? <laughs> I, I think they would just do a whole run and <laughs> label it to, and then yeah. start yeah. the next one. They'd probably get pretty good at telling, telling yeah. them apart. Yeah. Yeah. That is so pretty. Oh, all these colors are gorgeous. Yeah, we will let me put them in some semblance of order here, and we'll go over the colors again. Okay, so this is 701 Rainbow Mountain. This one, 702 Monet's Garden. I think these are some of the names, same names as the Dappled and the Worsted. Oh, I didn't even some look. of them I are sounding yesterday. familiar. This one is 703 Candy Floss. Cracks me up on that name. 704 is Antelope Valley. 705 is Morning Glory. Oops, I have two of those. Did I miss one? 706 Bondi Beach. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five, six. Okay, I just had a duplicate there. So those are all the beautiful colors, just under $28 for everybody. Oh, good morning, Devin. About time, Sandy, Sandy. showed up, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Give you bad time. So, and they're, oh, God, they're so pretty. <laughs> I know, right? So, so many, so many fun colors, so little time. <laughs> Real joke. They're all here. All right. We have... Some cute products for you guys after this. Look at this sheet. Isn't this adorable? She looks a little sassy. I know. Just going to say. Oh, come on. So they are a set of matching coasters. Two-sided. They're so cute. Well, I want to see how it flies. I know. <laughs> no Frisbees in here. No, no Frisbees. They're just some cute little sheep coasters. Clo Coasters. Coasters. <laughs> I believe she's got a bunch of mixed grapes on her head. That's funny. I think she does. She does. Let me find a link for that. I did not get all those put up on the... Oops. Didn't get those ready on the phone. Here we go. Here's this one. Just some cute little coasters if you guys are having a party or you just want something cute to look at. Mm, which one do I do next? Uh, <laughs> okay, I feel like you should do the stickers because okay. that's the kind of morning we were having. Okay. <laughs> this is a sticker. Do not disturb. Sometimes you just need to put this on your forehead so you can get something done, you know? Exactly. I'm sure that's how Susan feels when she's teaching a class and I'm interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but sometimes when you're trying to knit and the child wants to talk, you're like, yeah. Okay, pretend I didn't say that out loud, but, you know, <laughs> it's more like when the husband wants to keep talking. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, he's talking, and I'm trying to read, and he's in the kitchen, and I'm in the living room, and he doesn't know I'm trying to read, so, you know, I don't blame him, but... Yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> Flash that one. <laughs> I got to find the link for that one. Are they all separate? No. Oh, okay. So, the, we got uh, maybe, like, four brand new ones in, Yeah. I think. So, we're showing you a couple, because I'm not... Yeah, we're just showing you a couple of them. There's a lot of items on this page that you guys can um, find it. I'm going to pin this one because there's a lot on here that we're not doing today. 
Let's see who can find the goodies on there. <laughs> okay, this one may be a little hard with the glare. Oh, but it's so funny. I'm ready to give you my divided attention. I feel like that's me because uh, when I was at work, I literally would have three, four different conversations going on helping people. Yes. And having to do my own work at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> so it is that holographic look. It's so cute. This is so cute. These are just under $5. I saw a lot, lots of heart bubbles going up there. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. Darla or the husband, yes. <laughs> and then it's when the husband and the child get into these almost philosophical discussions. Oh, geez. And you're like, leave me I'm out. Like, I, sometimes I do. I just get up and I leave the room because they'll talk for hours. <laughs> and eventually the husband goes to the child, you should go because I'll just keep talking. Yeah. And she's like, yeah, and I sitting down was a mistake. <laughs> Hey, at least they have deep conversations, I know, they but do. sometimes. They do. And I'm like, I, I can't follow that. I'm just going to sit here and knit. <laughs> I, I, honestly, between these two and this next one, I don't know which is my favorite. This is the procrastinator's to-do list. It says now, soon, sometime. <laughs> and that... Oh, that's me for sure. That sums me up in a... In a notepad. In a notepad, <laughs> yeah, because I'm a procrastinator. Oh, uh, so am I. And definitely a procrastinator. And I finally have come to terms with it. <laughs> I, it took me there's a long just, time. There's no getting around it sometimes. No. That That's so funny because I, I, I tease I have a housemate. Uh, she is just as bad as me. <laughs> so it, it works great. <laughs> Well, says talk about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, we used to go to an SCA fundraiser and they would have this auction because they were they were trying to raise money to buy land and the Society for Creative Anachronism. For those of you that don't know, SCA.org, it's lots of fun. But they would have this auction and the very last thing they would auction off was a box of nothing. Oh, literally, it was God. a box of or I mean they would just yeah. hold up nothing and yeah. we're like, okay, what are you going to bid for nothing? <laughs> And people would bid. It would go up into a couple hundred dollars. It was hilarious. <laughs> but we are not talking about nothing. We have some goodies here for you. Yes. I still like, yeah. There was there also, we go. what about the sticker? That Where is the other sticker? I put it back. Oh. You really want me to do it? Well, the one that says just breathe. Oh, no. Yeah. So then we yeah, have, no, this one. This was a definite, we needed this this morning. This is just breathe. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that one's I on a different that, page. Let me find that one. Sometimes I need that more often. This <sighs> Darla may resemble that mark. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just us because sometimes I feel like, uh, why am I not getting this done? Or why haven't I knitted 16 more inches on this right. project and I'll be done? Why? Yeah. Okay, there's the other batch of stickers. So, yes, that breathe. I'm going to tape that to Susan's. So she could see it. Today. Maybe maybe we'll just put it on under my name tag so yeah. I can look down and see it. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is it's it's been a week. This is this is all my philosophy sometimes, you know. Yeah. You gotta remember to breathe, but um I'll give you attention, but I gotta breathe. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Definitely. I think we're gonna we're gonna cut it short today because we got some things to get taken care of. Do you want to do the classes or no? We did them. We did them yesterday. We can okay. do them again tomorrow. Okay. All the classes are on the website, and shipping is caught up, except for whatever you guys do today. So we're gonna do what we're wearing. Oh, I don't she's know why making I, me I, go yeah, in first. I, I don't know. I'm used. To, sorry. <laughs> I'm all like, okay. What are you wearing? <laughs> I know. Uh, spring day, spring daybreak. Oh, she, see how good she is. I dig spring it. daybreak. She is so good. Spring daybreak. Did I put a barcode thing on the back of that one? You did. I did. So there's your little QR code if you would like to find it. That is a pattern Danielle wrote. It is one skein of silky twist and one partial skein of beaded silk and sequins. I thought since we were talking springy, might as well have something springy. Right? It's so cute. We I can, love the pattern on that. You can really see the sparkle in that mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a, a slip stitch pattern. Very pretty. I would do that one again. That was fun. I did that one at 
worked on it at Disneyland last year oh. when I was there. The kids, I am not they, bringing my knitting to Disneyland. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> the kids all went on the, what's the big water ride? Not the, they sit in that round. The rapid. Yeah. Yeah. They went on that and I'm like, all right, leave me, leave your backpacks Grizz- here so they don't get wet. Grizzly rapids. Oh <laughs> yeah. That one soaked on that one. They did pretty good. They weren't too soaked on that one. Oh, that's good. This is uh, Color Riot, which is one skein of Art Yarn's Seven Natique, and I don't think it's 348. I'm not sure what the accompanying color is, but it might be. And then a little bit of beaded silk and sequins in the border. Short rows galore. We do have an on-demand one for this one, so it's a good one to do short rows with. Oh, I know. I still have to learn the, the yeah, short Yeah, right not now. any crazy shaping. Just work over here, turn around, go back. Work over here a little less, turn around, go back. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> it might be a long way that way and a shorter way. I don't remember which way it started over here on the border. Very fun and easy. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we're going to cut it, and we will see everyone tomorrow with Boss Lady and myself. Well, have a good rest of your week and a good weekend. I'll see you guys next week. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye.